Hi everyone, it's Annalisa with Inside Real Estate and I am going to speak to the K plus or conversion plus use of hashtags and how it all relates to your daily book of business and how to navigate and actually really utilize these on, on a daily basis uh, to help your organizational and trigger events for you, which means less work in the long run, right? So what we're going to do is jump into an agent dashboard and what I have here is, let me get rid of my little drawing tool. So what I have here is the agent dashboard and we're going to first cover the drip campaigns and how you can create those to actually trigger with a hashtag. So if you build a squeeze page, a landing page, and you have a hashtag on it, that can actually trigger a campaign, which is pretty neat. So to set this up, you're going to go to the top right hand side of your agent dashboard and click on your name and then my settings. So you're going to click on your name and then my settings at the upper right. Now we are going to scroll it on down to the bottom of this page. And when we get to the bottom, we're going to find any drip campaigns that we have created ourselves as agents or we have purposely imported onto our own dashboards. So if you scroll down here today and you're like, uh oh, there's nothing here. What's wrong? There's nothing wrong. It just means you haven't actually physically brought a drip campaign in or created your own drip campaign yet. So I've actually built a couple and, and have imported a couple. And this is a good example here for Annalisa Recruit. So what I have here is a campaign uh, of Annalisa Recruit that's going to come in. And when I have done that call to action, maybe it was like a landing page recruiting, you know, a uh, thing out there to get some more agents into my business or something. I have the hashtag of the recruiting coming in and when that ever when that hits my dashboard with a new lead it's going to automatically connect this drip campaign so you can create specific drip campaigns for specific goals or communications in mind for those targeted audiences out there and again to access this information you are going to click on your name upper right and then my settings and you're going to scroll on down to the bottom and that's where you'll see how to enact, you know, put that little recruiting tag on there. Now, if you're creating a brand new campaign, it's going to be just a little bit above to the right where it says add new drip. It's basically a two-step process. You create the campaign name and trigger, and then you go and build the meat and potatoes of the message into it on this side. So what you could do is say maybe you put out a squeeze page for uh, folks in Warwick you know, looking for price reduced homes and you want a specific uh, campaign to pick up or something. You could call it Warwick PR for price reduced. And you could say, I want to share this with the rest of the users of K plus. So you could say, I don't want to share it. Keep it to yourself. Either way, you got to choose one or the other. And then you can say, I want this to trigger when this hashtag lands. So then you could choose your hashtag and add your campaign. And then if we scroll down a little bit, because it's alphabetical and it starts with the W, so we're going to scroll to the bottom. And now we can see I have the drip campaign started of Warwick PR. That's going to trigger whenever a specific hashtag lands. Or you can always pop in here and change up your hashtag or even delete it. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is the hashtag trigger for alerts, which is pretty slick. Uh, this is another thing that you can invest a little time into now and have automated processes set up for you and going into the future. So I really in encourage you to take a look at this and work it into, you know, as you're setting things up right now. So to access the hashtag trigger alerts, you're going to go to the same page you did for the new, for the drips here. You're going to click on your name and then my settings at the upper right. And we're going to scroll down again, just like we did for the drip campaigns. And you'll see this section here that says auto assign listing alerts for leads. And the whole purpose of this is to say, you know, whenever this tag of Clinton LP lands, which to me as an agent, I would remember that this was my hashtag I set up for Clinton properties that was a landing page. So you can use these hashtags strategically on whatever works for you, like mentally, like, okay, I recognize what this is tied to and I know what's going to happen. And whenever this tag lands, it's going to set up single family, 
in the city of East Chester, 350 to 5,000, and it's going out twice a week. So you can actually jump in here and set these up to rock and roll automatically, which is pretty awesome. So you just click uh, into here where this new section is with the empty fields, and you can say, okay, whenever uh, pools land, the hashtag pool lands, I want these properties to go out of Orange County. Oop, let me type. Let me type that in there. Maybe that would be helpful. I want single property homes. I really can type, folks. It's not a rumor. There are single property, <laughs> single family homes. And then you could say, I want this to go out in the area of Orange. And this is something like a whole county or just the neighborhood of Orange Lake. And then you would choose accordingly. And then you could say, I want these to go out because I targeted people, uh, you know, between the, you know, these age ranges or something when you're looking for median household income. So you could say, I want this to be between 250000 for maybe it's a starter home or something to 500, 550000 And then you can determine how often you want them to go out. So the neat thing here is, you know, if you've got in a, an area where maybe slim pickings on those listings, you could have it set to instant, just like you can on a regular uh, contact, right? So you can choose how you want these to go out, click add, and now we just can see it is set up with pool, right, y'all? Right in the middle. And again, to access this, you'll click on your name, my settings, and you're going to scroll down to auto assigned listing alerts for leads. So let's talk a bit about lead gen. And if you are asking questions or typing them in as I'm speaking, I can't see those right now. So I will loop back to these as soon as I complete here. So we're going to go up to these left hand side and we're going to jump into our lead gen tools and we're going to look at squeeze pages and landing pages so I'm just going to go ahead and open these up and when you're building a squeeze page you can actually drop a hashtag into the system which can then of course you know in turn trigger a smart campaign and an alert pretty slick so you can have all of these things working together you know orchestra like an orchestra uh, tackling different aspects of things for you to free up your time for other things, which is always a good idea, right? So you can drop in that hashtag and then when those contacts register, they land, it's going to trigger these potentially the drip campaign and or the alerts. And this works, you know, with the uh, buyer seller squeeze build as well as your uh, single property. Now it's the same thing on the landing page lead gens, you know, with the hashtags uh, so you've got the hashtag option here on quite a few of these templates. You know, you just drop your tag in here, and again, it can trigger that drip campaign and or search alert for you. Now, the next thing we're going to do is take a look at hashtags themselves and how you can mass communicate to a group of people within a hashtag. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my dashboard again. And we're going to, let me get rid of my tool there. Okay, and we're going to click on this hashtag list. And if you're trying to wrap your head around like what hashtags are, there's a metaphor that might help you visualize these. And basically, the way I look at this hashtag bucket, just here with that little you know fil folder is, basically this hashtag is a huge gray metal filing cabinet sitting within your dashboard. And every hashtag is a manila envelope you're dropping people into. So you can easily pluck out these groups of people in seconds and identify them and send them contact, uh, you know, communicate with them, what have you. So if you have something where you're like, hey, you know what, I need to get a hold of my FHA buyers, or I just found the perfect listing at the Evergreen School District, but I, for the life of me, I can't remember everyone in that list, so you, but you built the hashtag and so you can pull it up as a list. Maybe you want to get a hold of your credit repair people. You know, you can tap on those, you know, choose that hashtag, and everyone within that hashtag will come up on a list. And so you can see them as a list. And then you can decide if you're going to email them individually or text them individually or do a mass email and or text from here. Now, you can also go up to this upper right-hand side where it says Quick Actions. And you can go into mass email and or mass text. Now, both of these hold the same functions inside. They're just different methods of communication. So if we look at the mass email, 
we could say, okay, I have information I need to send to a specific grouping of people in a hashtag. I need to send my credit repair people something, or I need to send my Sleepy Valley people something, or recruiting, what have you. You can just click on this tab, or tag, uh, sorry, and K Plus is going to open up your Gmail of which you are synced with on your dashboard, because of course we are a Gmail and Google oriented product. And then you can add in your information in the subject and the body. And you'll notice here that the system sends to you, the agent, and a blind copies all of the other recipients. So nobody else knows what anybody else is going to receive, which is fantastic. Also within Quick Actions on the mass text, same idea. You type in your message, you choose the tag, tag and away it goes. Now, one last thing I want to show you is on an individual contact. So we're going to drop into leads here, and I'm just going to open up my new leads and go into this one here. So what's interesting about this is you can actually give it the once over before you're about to call someone. Maybe they're on your call list or something while you're dialing out or right before you dial out to them. You could be like, okay, it's on Elisa. Oh, she hasn't looked at any properties yet. Why is that? Oh, look, look at that. She came in as a recruit prospect. So you can look at this hashtag here to recognize or decipher how that lead got there or how you may have tagged it as a reminder to yourself visually about some aspect of that person. So it really helps to go like, okay, who are they? When did they last sign up? Have they looked at properties? How the heck did they get to my site? and what type of distinction uh, can I look at here on the hashtag that gives me a little more clue as to why I might be contacting them or lead me into a conversation that we could have. So that concludes the hashtags uh, and what you can do with them and utilize every day. I really, really encourage you to jump in and set up those smart camp or the drip campaigns as well as the alerts and uh, have fun with this. You know, this is built to make your life easier so I really encourage you to, to engage and get used to using the hashtags in your daily business. Have a great day.